Hello everyone and welcome back to Amori. Alright, so I was actually talking with a friend who's playing through this game as of right now, and he told me something I I kind that kind of just slipped my mind entirely. Um <laughs> I forgot that emotions had a weakness triangle to them. Frankly, up until now, I mean I've of course I did see that, but like I was just kind of like thinking of them more as like just stat or just flat stat boost, you know, like sad is the defensive one, angry is the glass cannon one. I completely forgot about like the the weakness triangle as well. Um so in order to do this fight well, I apparently need to have my party members be happy because this boss is like permanently angry. Off screen I also did a little bit of grinding. Everyone is now level 10, which feels right to me. Um Amori learned Hack Away, which hits three random targets. I love moves like this. I explain why every time I get one. <laughs> um, Aubrey learned Twirl. Attacks a phone and becomes happy. So that's probably going to be good. You learned Running Gun, which is a regular attack that scales with speed. And Kel is by far the fastest party member, so that's pretty cool. It does cost a lot, though. And also Curveball. Um, which makes a foe... It, it's like a normal attack, but it inflicts a random emotion on an opponent, and it deals extra damage if the, oppo if the opponent has an emotion. Sounds kind of gimmicky, but for normal enemies it might not be too bad. And Hero learned, um, Smile. Axe first reduces the foe's attack. So yeah, there we go. Um, was there anything else? I don't think that was it. I basically just went back to the, to the, um, junkyard and, um and did some more grinding. Oh good, it doesn't do that whole song every time I do this. <laughs> that little guy down there, I think I, I think said something you can, or said you can get something special if you like donate enough stuff. And while I don't think these items have a use outside of donating them, this isn't like Lisa where you can just throw the bottle as a weapon or something. Seer goggles! What are those? Hold on a second. Okay, okay, I'm dispensing everything here if I can get cool items for it. Oh my god! Increases hit rate, defense, and luck. Does anyone have a move that has low, um, accuracy? I don't think so. Well, does anyone have any low accuracy? Honestly, I don't think I've, like, seen an attack miss yet. I mean, obviously I'm gonna equip it anyway. Let's put it on Hero. He doesn't have anything somehow. More heart, more defense. Honestly, that might be good for you, because I feel like I'm supposed to be using you as a tank a little bit. What does Kel have? Backpack. Okay, everyone just has a little bit of, like, defense-boosting stuff. Oh, you can skip that by pressing the key, okay. God, I wish you could just, like, do all of this at once. I don't know. More clams. I mean, money is money, so... Glass bottles. You get 10 for those. Oh! Flashlight. That sounds like it'd be a toy. Um... No. Is it an equip? Yeah, it is. Even more defense. Okay.
I mean, it's it's objectively better, so. <laughs> you know, I, <coughs> <coughs> ah, sorry. You know, I wonder what the calculation is for like when it gives you stuff. Like, do you have to like give enough items, or is it like give enough like value of certain items or something? Like, if I deposit a hundred dollars worth of stuff, do I get something? I don't know. Are the prices randomized, or are they determined, or are they like predetermined? Huh. This game has been out for like maybe a month and a half, so or a few months at this point. So maybe like some of that has been like data mined or like put on a wiki or something. I don't know. That really does feel like my kind of mechanic though, so maybe I'll look into that later. Six save files. Okay then. I just noticed that the boom box uses the same sprite that the, do the doom box does, but like it's not an animate. Well, no, I mean, it's not like alive. <laughs> That's kind of fun. And like, imagine just taking like a random overworld sprite and turning it into an enemy. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay, so I, I have an idea. Um, let's do... What does Mach do again? I should save some, uh, some uh, my magic for that move, actually, because his attack is, like, kind of a problem. <clears throat> I'm not going to do that, because I actually have something I can use to make everyone happy. Where is it? Confetti. Yep. I'm doing it on, on Kel, because he is the fastest. We'll do this on... No, no, we're still early in the fight. I don't have to do stuff like that yet. Huh, surprise there's not an animation for that. <laughs> Oh, I didn't need to use anything like that. Okay, this is already going a lot easier, because, like, I'm, I'm doing way more damage.
I mean, heck, just keep attacking normally. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That almost screwed me over again. Do I have more than one of those? No, that was my only one. Okay, um... I think Aubrey has a way to make characters happy, so... So I'll just rely on that if I need to. My goal right now is to get to the second phase where I'll really have an advantage. Here we go. Oh yeah, we're doing even more damage now. Okay. Yeah, here, um, happiness does screw with your accuracy though, which, I, I don't know, I don't really like messing with accuracy. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So something else this friend told me, and I'm not even... I don't remember if the game ever tells you this. Emotions can stack, apparently. So, let me try something. Let's use Mock on you first. Go to Skill, Pep Talk, Amori, who is already happy. I just want to see, like, if this works how I think it works. I'm not going to use Annoy, Rebound, or Curveball in this fight, so we'll just, like, do a couple free hits with this. I don't think people are losing enough health, le uh, health enough yet that I want to use Snack Time. So just keep attacking. It was a moving to attack, I've been told, as a critical hit. Wow, that, that did a lot. Man, man, this is really how I should have, uh... <laughs> A static! Yeah, okay, it does stack like that. Oh, hold on. That's a loud truck outside. He told me that for some characters, um, emotions can stack upwards of three times. So let's try that one more time. I'm gonna use snack time now. Nope. Okay. I'm assuming the effects also do, um, also do stack as well. Manic. Interesting. So while his, like, attack is super, super high now, his accuracy is probably super, super low as well. Which means, oh man, I should have given him the, um, the seer goggles if I was going to do the strategy. Yo, 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 that, that might make you a static, too. We'll do that. Running gun. And just normal attack. Two of them missed. I think that was worth it, though. Yeah. How are you still moving? Okay, that's a problem. Yeah, it was a dull attack. That means I resist that. Yes, it does. Oh, wow. Do it again. I think we can live another hit. We have almost enough for our super move, too. He's passing a turn. Okay, so she can't go to Manic. Uh, you have no MP left. Oh 
Oh my god, I think that's our first time doing triple digit damage. This is it. I don't know what else to say. Release that energy. Wow, that was that went way easier. I really should have kept um like emotion like like weakness triangle in mind for that fight earlier. Huh. Ugh, my heart. It hurts. There we go. No one even died that time either. <laughs> Eye patch. Team Spirit. See you, space boyfriend. What happened? Where am I? Who are you? Hey there, how are you feeling? Oh, hello. I'm Captain Space Boy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ow, oh, my chest. Are you okay? You got a little angry, so... <laughs> a little angry. So we had to... I see. My other half must have gotten the better of me. I must apologize. Your actions were likely well justified. I just hope I didn't cause you too much trouble. I've been having a hard time controlling my emotions lately. I try my best to keep them at bay, but it's becoming much more difficult. Sweetheart, she was the love of my life. It's almost impossible for me to imagine life apart from her. I guess I'm a bit lost. The special mixtape tape is full of, my, of mine and Sweetheart's favorite songs. I put so much love into making it for her. Thank you all for returning it to me. This is still full, uh, full of precious memories, after all. It's no problem. Well, not too much, anyway. Yeah, we're glad to help. You just go ahead and get some rest. I'm afraid no amount of rest can truly heal a broken heart. I must find another way to get over this. Captain... I mean, Space Boyfriend. I'm so sorry, but I have very terrible news. Your favorite plant, Pluto, has escaped and we can't find him anywhere. Don't be mad at us, we're sorry. You know, I noticed that there are plants in the background. I wonder if you... if you... I wonder if you could notice, like, a Pluto back there if you were to have, like, looked out for that earlier. I don't know. Please be gentle. Oh no, he's way up there. Never mind. I see. It's okay, you two. I'm sure e even the planets get bored uh, turning slowly all day. Perhaps Pluto was never meant to be a planet. <laughs> huh? Really? So you're not angry at all? Do you mean it, Captain uh, Space Boyfriend? I sure do. Yeah, um, gather the rest of the crew. Let's go to the frozen lake and get some snow cones. Resting in bed may not fix a broken heart, but eating snow cones with friends might help. You don't have to call me Space Boyfriend anymore, either. I'm Captain Space Boy. What does that mean? Woo! Woohoo! The captain is back. We can't wait to tell everyone. Let's go, dude. Right behind you, buddy. You know, I wonder if those pirates are based off, like, the prunies at all. Because while I've never really played Disgaea, I think that's the game they're from, I know they call each other, like, dude and buddy all the time, and they're also, like, like, bird pirates or something, I don't know. <laughs> God, I want to play Disgaea one day, but, like, the level caps in that game intimidate me. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for what you've done. Who knows what would have happened to me if my crew, um, in my crew if you, if you all didn't show up. It was nothing. We're just glad you're feeling like yourself again. You have my thanks. If you ever need anything from me or the Space Pirates, please don't hesitate to ask. Actually, I can't believe I forgot about this, but we're actually looking for our friend Basil. He wears a flower crown and always carries his photo album on him. Have you seen him around? No, I'm afraid I haven't. But if I do see anything, I'll, you'll be the first to know. Basil, where could he have been? Gone. Please don't cry, little lady. Take this. Please, little lady, don't cry. Take this, too.
I used to travel around on trains when I was a child, long before I became a space captain. If even I can go from traveling on trains to flying my own spaceship, I'm sure you'll be able to find your friend. Okay. Captain, you ready to go? Everyone's waiting for you. Yeah, hold on, I'm coming. You must keep your hopes up. If, you get, if it gets too hard to bear, try eating a, a snow cone. It might make things a little easier. I mustn't keep my crew waiting. Good luck of everything, and thanks again. That's the F key. <laughs> your bond with your friends became stronger. Oh! I didn't know those could level up. Okay. Oh no, it's the E key. E. <laughs> oh, more footprints. Okay, let's see who we got first, though. So Aubrey learned a new skill. I I haven't gotten much use out of counter, honestly. I don't know. Makes Aubrey and a friend happy. Interesting. How much does that cost? Ten. Five. I don't think it costs that much more. Like, if I want to make a, a character happy, I probably want to make multiple characters happy, so let's just get rid of Pep Talk, I guess. As usual, faux facts. I just wanted, like, you know... You know me, I love the enemies in this game. God, there's that many bosses? Because the bosses start, like, here, right? Did I miss three bosses, or are those, like, optional fights? A fierce alter, alter ego of a Captain Space Boy, Captain of the Space Pirates. He comes out when Captain Space Boy is angry, commands the planets of the solar system, but the heart of no one. What's your deal? Oh, he's still sleeping. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so we got a snow cone ticket and a... Um... Where do I cash in this ticket? Hello everyone, how's the search for Basil going? Well Mary, it seems like we've taken a little detour. Just trying to help those in need, you know? Look Mari, I got a snow cone ticket. That's very nice, thanks. Look what I can do. That's very nice, too. <laughs> I know, isn't it? It's so strange. We searched all over the place, but we haven't seen a hint of Basil anywhere. Oh, Basil. I wonder where he could have gone. There must be something we're missing. Do you have any leads, Amori? I just follow the footprints, I guess? We gotta heal, too. Hold on. Nothing new. Uh, <laughs> Is there really no other use for this? Because I've played games that, like, pull this trick on you before. Like, they tell you something is useless, but, like, it's super, like, important for, like, a late game item or something. You know, I don't really need, um, money right now, so I think I'll just skip on selling it for the time being. Where is that backpack? Can I not sell that? Why is Tufu only sell for one? Soft cardboard, buddy. No, like... <laughs> I'm not even, like, vegan, because I know that's the stereotype vegans like tofu, but, like, I... <laughs> Like, Tofu gets a bad rap, man. I don't know. I say just follow the footprints for now. Um, okay. Uh, 
Oh, we can go this way now. Watermelons are my favorite part of summer. Oh. <laughs> A wish. But what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right now. Are you going on ahead? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Mango smoothie? No, mango drink the smoothie. Mari's cookies. Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. My first car. We're still young. We should dream big, right? Oh. <laughs> Alright, time to go back and deposit that. Interesting. That's the end. Let's explore this place a little more first. This year, you get just one present from all of us. That's the car. I thought I missed something over there for a second. Oh, that that red light looks ominous. Hello? Oh, there's the F key. F. <laughs> doesn't... Oh! I, I was gonna say, doesn't one of our characters know how to play music or something, but... Just a Mori. I thought there was a noose up there. No, that's a light bulb. Interesting. Oh. Oh, we're back here again. Anything new here? Yo, yo, that's the thing that just hit, uh, just attacked us. These are clues to where to find these. I just realized that. Between giant pinwheels, near a cast-off of cart 
uh, cast off cartridge. Why is that one grayed out? I got the F, so... Oh, is it because there's no F? I feel like reading these are gonna be, like, kind of spoilery then. <laughs> um... I'm not quite sure what the word is gonna be. I'm very bad at, like, you know, Hangman, Wheel of Fortune, like... We're gonna give you some letters, guess the phrase kind of games. I don't know. Those hands still out here? Yep, they are. Can I stab myself? Uh, it's probably the only way out again. This is an interesting area I still don't quite understand. Wait, the last time we stabbed ourselves, didn't we go, like, to the real world? Oh, we might be doing that again. At that time, I saw everything. When you stood here before, did you see it too? Something behind you. Three days left. Oh, we're back in the real world. Sunny was this kid's name, I think. Wake up in the morning. You know, on the side of, like... Outside the window, I got, like, the Steam page set up behind it, and it tells me, like, what percentage of, um, of players, like, have achievements. God, I, I, I'm really glad they made that number easier to find, because it's kind of fun looking at those stats. Apparently, 58% of players have gone to this point in the game. Which, I'm gonna be honest, seems kind of high. Like, I don't know, like, I, I play a lot of RPG Maker games, whenever I do play, like, a, um, or heck, this is something for just, like, games in general. Like, you ever notice how Steam achievements, like, you, you get one for, like, being the first boss, and it's, like, 90% of players uh, got to this point. And I'm like, really? How many, like, how many people played, like, bought this game, played it, and, like, <clears throat> only got, like, nine, only got, like, to the first boss or something? <laughs> Basically, what that tells me is that this game has, 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 like, kept people's retention a lot more than a lot of Steam games I've played. I don't know. Or games on Steam. I don't feel like doing them. Oh my god. Oh, Porky is still at the front door. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Sunny? Are you there? Do you remember me? It's your old friend Kel. So I, I noticed the for sale sign on the front of your house. And I heard from my mom that you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go, or whatever. For old time's sake, you know? Wasn't it a monster last time I did this? No! Oh my god, there he is. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty. Oh, he actually came out. Uh, I mean... Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Sonny. I really didn't expect you to come out today, so I don't really have a game to play here. Hey, no, let's go to hobbies. 
It's a hobby shop in the, in the faraway plaza. You remember the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Does that mean we're not kids? Are we adults? Like, in this, um... I, I missed that text box. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like that. Like, I don't know, like, the head is a little smaller, like, the eyes are a little, like... We're probably, like, young adults, like, early 20s, like, in the, in the, in, like, the, um, the, like, real world sections, but... So, are, are, are those, like, memories of us, like, going back to when we were kids or something? I don't know. Yeah, this story is super interesting. I'm assuming I can't really, like, find items here or something. Do we even have levels? We have, do we have our skills? What? You're not from this world. Hold on. Oh, okay. I was gonna say maybe the people around here are like one to one like representations of uh, of like the the like dream world people, whatever you want to call them. But that guy does not strike me as like a preacher or like a churchgoer or something. <laughs> <clears throat> That's metal? I remember being a lot bigger. Yo, I kind of get that feeling too sometimes. I don't know. Like, sometimes when I go by areas that have, like, playgrounds that I played on all the time when I was a kid, I, I, I sometimes just look at some of the equipment and I go, God, that look... I remember that being way smaller. But I know it's only because, like, I'm, like, you know, physically much larger myself because, you know, I'm an adult now, so it just... It, it physically is smaller, but, like, it always just feels smaller. Like, more smaller than, like, it actually should, you know? I don't know. It's kind of hard to put into words. I can see why so many people relate to this game's story. Jock. Oh, hey, what's up? What are you doing here, Kel? You from around this part of town? Oh, well, I didn't expect to see you here, Jay. Sonny, this is Jay. He's the captain of the football team at my high school. I didn't know you played basketball, too. Okay, so they're high school age. Alright. I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You're trying out for the basketball t uh, team this year, right, Kel? Maybe you can teach me some of your tricks. Yeah, definitely. That sounds like fun. But maybe another time. My childhood friend Sunny here is leaving town on the next in the next few days, so we're hanging out, um, out all day today. I'll definitely catch up with you later, though. Sure, we can set something up next week. Same time, same place. Yeah, sounds good. See you later. Who are these? What? Recycle cultist? What? <laughs> We're the Recycletists, uh, followers of the Holy Bin. As all have littered, all must uh, accept that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That is one hell of a recycling mascot. <laughs> you know, there was like a John Oliver a couple days ago. I watch John Oliver sometimes about recycling. Where, like, apparently a lot of the stuff we recycle, like, isn't actually recyclable. Hmm. Really unfortunate thing about, like, a lot of stuff just, just, that get, just gets thrown out that just becomes just mass that you can't do anything with. What are we going to do with this trash, by the way, we're picking up? At least I, at least sunlight is free. 
When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle. I can't find it, though. Drink apple juice! Have you ever heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps a doctor away? The same concept, a concept applies to apple juice. Ah, it keeps doctor juice away. <laughs> apple juice supports hydration. It contains beneficial plant compounds and may support uh, heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> You know, I saw like a funny like shit post graph online. What if we made monorails by um by like strapping a bunch of doctors to the bottom of a train and making the rails out of apples? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love how dumb the internet is sometimes. <laughs> Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching uh people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess uh, sometimes all it, all it takes is it, to relax and stop and smell the roses. An artist is diligently sketching away. That's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Uh, oh. Hi there. Thank you. I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing? But it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. You think so? Can we see the drawing? I mean, sure. Even Sunny agrees. I'd buy that from you now. Can you lend me $20? Thanks, that's nice of you, but it's not for sale. It's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. That's too bad. That would have looked great on my bedroom wall. You really think so? My name is Min Mincy. What's yours? Kellen, this is Sunny. Hello? It's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. What's wrong? It's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself and it gets hard to move my pencil. I don't believe that at all. I really think your drawing is great. I wouldn't be uh, able to do that in a million years. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Sunny believe in you. Yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. Ah, huh, that's nice. Hello, youngings. I don't know if you've uh, been watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a lot of trash around this town. If you happen to find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Let me check something real quick. Pocket. Okay, we don't have our items from the dream world. I was gonna say, like, if you keep it, I might hold on to the trash and... Okay, I know you can't just recycle bags of trash, but I, I, <laughs> I also don't think you can recycle cardboard parts where you would normally, or <laughs> cardboard and like computer parts where you would recycle like cans either. So I was, I, I was gonna try and like give it to the, um, to the recycling machine, but no. Uh, free nine dollars, I guess. Oh, wait, no. Wait, you just get rid of it with with one interaction where the machine, I need to do it, like, for each one individually? Also, I just noticed something. The layout of this, um, of this park is kind of similar to the layout of the park in the Dream World. Was there a cat statue in the Dream World? Also, the stuff was more spread out. So yeah, in 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 Amori's head, like it is, um, or Sunny's head, it's like they're farther away, so that it would appear bigger. Huh, that's kind of interesting. The stench of this man is indescribable. What you making that face for, bub? See there something on my face? Cool. Where do I go now? Road closed. 
probably can't just walk on the... Oh, no, I can. Oh, but I can't leave the sidewalk. Didn't it say we had to go north? North of here. Maybe I gotta go this way? Ah, there we go. Oh, eh. Oh! Space Captain. Or Captain Boyfriend, or whatever your name was. <laughs> God, it's so weird seeing, like, stuff from the dream world appear here. I just made a wish that would, uh, that I would meet the love, uh, my one true love one day. Come on, Sai, let's go to Hobby. Okay, so you want me to go here. Well, I I really want to make a yik joke here. <laughs> here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while since you were here, but it hasn't really changed all that much. It's the same old stuff. Captain Spaceboy games, sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks. Except now they're vintage. So Captain Spaceboy friend is like a game hero in this series, or in the, in the real world. Interesting. Okay, so Hero exists in this world too. He's in college right now, but he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. Oh, Hero is older. Okay, that explains why he's so tall. <laughs> he's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? And that explains why he's the cleric. Wow, interesting. That's a horrible idea. You should help uh, pick out a uh, pick out a gift, Sonny. Let's look around and see what there what there is. Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater, Revenge of the Moles. <laughs> Rated M for mature. That's too violent for Hero. He definitely won't appreciate something like that. I isn't it seventeen for M rated games? You'd be seventeen by the time you're in college. <laughs> CDs look pretty cool, but I think Hero would appreciate something more sentimental. Let's keep looking. I've always been fond of these little guys. Hero would get uh, get mad for me for spending my lunch money on them, though. Let's not remind him of that. Looking through these comics bring back so many memories. It's just like old times, huh, Sonny? Who was never too interested in comics, though. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People have come all the way from uh, from the city to shop here. My favorite novel just got a comic adaptation. But the main character looks nothing like how I imagined him. Nothing you haven't seen. <laughs> oh, okay. I was gonna say mini games in an RPG, I'm down. I figured that was a cardboard cutout. This, yes, this is perfect. Papa's chips, Papa chips chip off the old block cookbooks. That's a mouthful. Arrow had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog destroyed it. Oh, Hector's the name of his dog too. He's going, or childhood dog. He's gonna be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? It's a cookbook. That's not bad for, like, a really good cookbook. This is extortion. <laughs> sure, I left my wallet at home. Uh, can you sp spot me, Sonny? I'll pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'd like to buy this cookbook. Have you been buddies? It's been a while since you've come around, hasn't it? Is this thing meant to be representative of someone from the dream world? I, okay, like, this game is like doing the Nino Kuni thing where like, it's a real world and a dream world. I know Nino Kuni isn't the only game that, that does that, but you know what I mean. So like, 
every time I play a game like this now, I always just look at a character and I go, is this character meant to represent someone from the other world, you know? That's Papa's chips chip off the um the old block cookbook. I see you uh you have good taste. My brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies were my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chip's work. That'll be 20, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. Thanks a lot. I bet Hero would love this. Sure. <laughs> also, $3 for one play on one of those? That does not... That's a little too much, in my opinion. Is that a Super Nintendo? Wait, that's new? What year does this take place in? <laughs> Sure. Oh, I see you have your eyes on, on that video game. It's called Captain Space Boy for uh, Space Boy Space Adventure. It was uh, more popular a few years ago, but it still retains some competitive players today. People from all over town have tried it, but I'll have you know that I still hold the high score. If you can beat it, I'll give you something cool. Sure. So what kind of- oh, it's, it's Space Invaders, but on its side. Okay. The crisis averted. What is the high score? I kind of want to see if I can do this. Is this a good thing? Oh. You might hear some button mashing. Oh, they're going faster now. Oh! Oh! Okay, so you die in one hit. Mm. Oh, what? I, oh, okay. <laughs> Enough of it was shot through that I just died instantly. That can't be the high score. Oh, it was! You actually beat my score. I should make room for the new generation. <laughs> Here's your prize, as promised. I only give that to people that are that think um I think are really cool. Cool glasses. So those aren't prescription, you wear those just to look cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised we get equipment out here. Even cooler when worn indoors. So these are equips? They don't, like, give me anything, though, or any stats. So, where do you want to go now, Sonny? Guess there's really not much to do around the suburbs, huh? How about the faraway park? Yeah, the park. We passed it um, by on the way here. That sounds fun, doesn't it? I want to look around here first. I'm Michael, a soon-to-be traveling mu musician. I've been playing guitar here at the Tom Plaza for years now, but I think I'm finally ready to move on. Sure. Why are you asking me? Yes, okay, I'll do it. Looks like I still have quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you. In return, I'll play into you an original song. This sounds like a K.K. Slider song. <laughs> With like the, the like synthesized voice thing. Oh, okay. She knows. 
I was gonna say, is this a pizza place? That sounds like an Italian name. <laughs> Kindly seat yourself. You can't stop at a sit-down restaurant for five dollars. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna be able to afford anything. You caught me on break. I've been trying to decide what to eat for a good ten minutes, but I don't know if, uh, why I'm fussing so much. What, uh, whatever I get is sure to be good. I'm Rye. I take pride in being a music, uh, musical connoisseur of sorts. If you play a CD on the jukebox over there, I bet I can tell you who the artist for the track is. I don't have a CD. Soda. <laughs> Oh! Sure? You're taking this job, Sonny. In that case, I'll come back for you later. Work hard, okay? So, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? You'll just start with the good news. So, the good news, we got three different pizza orders today. The bad news is our delivery boy suddenly called in sick yet again. These customers are all our regulars, so we stopped re uh, recording their addresses a long time ago. I can't remember w uh, where they live off the top of my head, but I do remember what their houses look like. Just take these notes and you'll be fine. I'll go grab the uniform. <laughs> Don't be shy. Wear your uniform loud and proud. Now remember, you have three pizzas to deliver. When you're done, just bike your way uh, back to the shop. I'm counting on you. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I can't read that! <laughs> Take the pizza... ...to the... the ...down the street. <laughs> At the... the wood with the dog wood... Dad, the light brown dog. <laughs> so a house with a light brown dog, I take it. I, hold on. Take this pizza down the street to the wooden? To the... The only thing I can make out is a light brown dog. Okay, so I'll, I'll look for a dog. Like... <laughs> I don't see a dog. Is that a dog? House, okay. With the dog house. And the light brown dog. <clears throat> Are there more? Oh, there's more. Okay, okay. How many are there? Because I didn't see a dog house. That's a grill. Here's a dog house. Pizza delivery. Hey, wow, you guys came sooner than I thought. Thank you, delivery boy. You have successfully delivered the pizza. It's time to move to the next order. This is a hilarious minigame. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Find the house with the yellow flowers in the... I don't know. <laughs> Parked car in the driveway? This is probably meant to be a color, that word. So let's just look for yellow flowers in a car parked in a driveway. Like that? Let me 
just double check. I remember that word was four letters long, so it could be pink. That doesn't look like any word I know. Pink! That's probably meant to say pink. Okay, I think I know what- I think that's the right house. Imagine trying to localize this mission <laughs> for, like, other regions if this game ever comes out in, like, Japanese or something. I don't know. <laughs> what took you so long? Gino's Pizza are really slipping these days. So here's the final one. Alright, this pizza goes down the street to the house with the wood planks in the yard. No fence? Has no fence. Wood planks, but no fence. Okay, that can mean a lot of things. That has a fence. That has a fence. That has a fence. That doesn't have a fence, and... Oh, there's planks there! Let me just look a little farther... first, just in case. No planks there. There might be more... Let me just double-check. I think I found the house, I just want to be absolutely certain. Oh! Oh, this place doesn't have... I'm glad I did that. Okay, let me uh, go back to the note real quick. Wood planks in the yard. Wood planks in the yard. That's an important clue. It's not really in the yard. That's not really in the yard either. When, when they say yard, I expect it to be like in the front of the house. Okay, okay. So that's unfortunate. Um. So we have two... two we can pick from. I find that I can just go into other people's yards. <laughs> God, yard can mean a couple things in this context, I guess. It's either that one or this one. Oh, not this one. There was another one that, like, just didn't have, um... Uh... Hopefully this is the right one. Thanks. Did I do it right? Hey, newbie. You're just the guy I want to see. According to some recent feedback, it seems your customer satisfaction is 10 out of 10. We did it right. Against all odds. 11% of players did this mission correctly. <laughs> Here are some monies. Maybe you can use it to buy pizza. Since you've been such a good sport, here's another freebie. Nice. It's one of my all-time favorite tunes. You can play on the jukebox right down yonder. How'd you do on your job? While you were working, I decided to sit on a bench and talk to strangers. Man, that was fun. 
Well, I'll be ready to go when you are. Donate? Wait, does that mean I get rid of it, like, permanently? I don't know if I can use this for anything else. There's another arcade machine here, too. Oh, okay. I'll hold off on that. Apples but green. <laughs> uh, what? Oh my lord, what is this? Oh! Smiley. <laughs> chocolate? Yes, chocolate. Half healthy. All the containers in this section can be recycled to create new containers over and over again. Such a beautiful concept, isn't it? My son Billy is such a stickler for the environment. He and his friends have always picked up trash around town. It's good to see so many young people these days taking care of the planet. You kids need anything for cuts or scratches? No. Hello, fish. Cat's favorite food. Bread. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> it's closed. I like the bakery. I like the butcher too. I have one job and it's to sell meat. Used to make a hamburger. You can do more of that than uh, than that with just meat. I hope we meet again. Shut up. <laughs> Tutor help wanted. Looking for a local math tutor for my son Brent. I, how big is this part of the game? I thought this was just going to be like a five minute flashback scene like the last one was. Or like flash forward or for whatever. Screw it, let's do it. There's a map to the house on the back. Language tutor. I know math better than I know language. Wait, what did you say? Food is only a vehicle for sauce. <laughs> What is Fix It? Oh, it's a hardware store. Welcome to Fix It, where, uh, where you can buy stuff and fix it yourself. For important people. <laughs> Let's buy one. After all this time, we finally moved to in together. This is so exciting, isn't it, Sean? Checkers guy. This is the start, uh, start of the rest of our lives. Now it's time to make our first important decision. What color should we paint the house walls? I think anything would do. I like all the colors. What do you think, Sean? 
Okay, I, I'm gonna be honest, when I saw these two here, I thought something else was going on. I was gonna go, wow, the hardware store is a weird way to, is a weird place to propose to your girlfriend. <laughs> I could go any, uh, either way too. Don't worry about me. You can choose Karen. What color do you want? Oh, Sean, you're too selfless. I don't need to pick a wall color. I'll be happy with any as long as I'm with you. Karen, if we keep doing this, we're gonna get stuck here forever. You're right. What if we just close our eyes and pick a color? That works. That way the result will be completely impartial. Let's do it. Okay, sounds good. Close your eyes, Karen. You know, the fact that both these characters are named, the fact that this is more than just a one back and forth cutscene makes me think that this might be based off a true story or something. <laughs> Hold on, it's okay. You should be uh, the, uh, the one to do it, Sean. I insist. No, Karen, it should definitely be you. What if I pick a color you don't like? Oh, we're not getting any anything done today, are we? I have an idea. Let's get a stranger to help us. Hey, you, could you help us for a second? Please come here and pick a color sample. Just make sure it's completely random. Floor wallpaper. Huh? What's this wallpaper doing here in the paint section? Hmm. Must have gotten misplaced. Well, it's not really what I was expecting, but I'm kind of digging it. What do you think, Karen? A wallpaper seems neat. I think it works just fine. Let's do it. Thank you so much for your help. We're both from around the area, but we just moved in together into a brand new house recently. It's the one with the yellow roof on the street near the church. We're thinking of having a housewarming party two days from now. It would be amazing if you could join. This place is... Longer than I thought it was going to be. Oh. <laughs> hey, stranger. How's your day been? My day's been going great. Well, I know why. Because today is the day that I'm finally going to be fixing the leak in my house. My problem bega uh, began a couple weeks ago. I found a really stubborn leak in the corner of my living room. How it got there, I don't know. I wasn't very, it wasn't very noticeable at first, but the leak has been slowly getting worse and worse every day. Tell the truth, I've, um, I've already gotten used to hearing the sound of dripping water and the feeling of damp carpet. But you know what? Today is the day everything changes. Yes, I'm finally here at Fix It. The tools are ready. And I'm gonna fix it. Sorry for ranting to you like that. This, uh, the, this leaks might have, um... This leak might have been driving me mad, uh, without me knowing. My house is right next to the church some southwest of here. I wanna come by and watch this mon monumentous occasion, please be my guest. Fine, dude. <laughs> Okay, this might sound weird. Am I the only one who, like, kind of likes looking at lamps at, like, Home Depot and places like that? I don't know, like, just all of the cool lights, like, right next to each other in one place. Like, it just looks kind of cool, you know? <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna make a save. Oh, pff, okay, fine. <laughs> You look like Barry from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Wait, don't go, please. Sorry, dude, I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh, there's a, some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Is that... That's Basil. Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Who's there? Yo, 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 that's that, um, oh, I forgot her name, but, like, that lizard with the glasses? That's totally her. The one we did that, like, ball mission for. It's just Kel. Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? What, I thought, I think her name was, like, Burly or something? Why don't you actually all... Thank you, <laughs> pop-ups. Aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? That blonde kid's hairstyle looks familiar. These characters must correlate to, to like, folks we've met in that... Oh, jeez. Um, I don't remember someone with hair that bright, though. Or comparatively bright. Everything looks bright in that world. Hey, Aubrey. So that's Aubrey. This nerd Kel just showed uh, showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. 
Also, I find it kind of interesting that like some of the characters have the same name they did in the in the like dream world, and some don't. Huh? Maybe it's like characters who are like super important to Amori or Sunny or something. What do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Sunny. Sunny's here. I didn't expect you to be this much of a jerk, though, <laughs> in the real world. Wow, it really is you. Maybe that's, like, his ideal version of her or something? Like, maybe he, like, remembers her being nicer? I don't know. Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? It must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. Whatever. Aubrey? I think he's got a flower, too. Please, listen to me. Hey, stop that. Leave me alone, Kel. This, is, uh, this isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Sonny? Come on, we've got to do something. Are you guys really picking a fight? Sure, why not? The two of you against me, how's that sound? Count at, uh, come at me. I'll take on both of you. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Huh. So what is this music? <laughs> Are you angry? You got that, like, red outline around you, but, like, that could just be the, the like, lining. You guard for now. How much does this heal? 150. We can take one more hit. Ah, just throw a basketball at her! <laughs> I'm sorry, did we just attack her with a knife? Oh, I forgot we had that on us. What the? Is that a knife? Right, this is the real world, so they're actually going to react to that sort of thing. <laughs> Oh shoot, Aubrey, are you okay? You're hurt. I'm fine. No, you're not, you're bleeding. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. I'll get you back for this. That was an interesting subversion of expectations. Huh. That was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife out there, or we would have... Wait a second, give me that. You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Sonny. That's dangerous. Abby's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. No, I want to save! Oh my god, dude. This episode is like an hour and 20 minutes right now. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Sunny is here too. Say hi, Sunny. Oh. Hey, Sunny. It's been a while, hasn't it? Also, this just crossed my mind too. Is Sunny mute? Actually, Amori, like, didn't really talk at all either. Yeah, and it was kind of doing that Golden Sun thing where, like, the characters kind of talked, like, to him as if he were mute. Like, encouraging him, knowing he can't respond, but, like, knowing that he'll still appreciate, like, what you say to him. I don't know. You think that might have to do with, um, with whatever mental illness this is supposed to be an analogy of? Because I'm dumb and haven't figured it out yet. What a happy reunion. So, do you want to hang out with us today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I should probably head home. Really, are you sure? My grandma hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm sorry to hear that. Let us all walk walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. All right then. Thank you. Still then still doesn't join the party properly. Let me save. What the heck? I can't. 
Could you not have placed that picnic basket closer? Like, I, I still can't save in the in the menu. So, so where is your house? Diagonal from hours from the crosswalk. That was a wormhole. That's a weird way to word that. I'm gonna assume this is your house of all the flowers. That's Basil's house. It's the one with the green roof. Yes, that's the most notable thing about it. Um, thanks for walking me home. No problem, O. If you ever need uh, anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Okay. Wait, please don't go. Ah, I mean, I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. What do you need? Well, you see, something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends, do you remember how I used to take a picture of everyone? Of course I remember. Photos meant everything to you. Right, well, Aubrey? She took my photo album, and... Aubrey stole our photo album. She won't give it back. What a scumbag. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Sun will uh, got you covered. Okay, thank you. By the way, about what you said before, we're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Come on, Sonny, there's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check f uh, Far Away Park for clues. but only the radius around the save point you can check. <laughs> Itty. Oh, thank God. Okay. I wonder if I can use this opportunity to go look for, or to do those, like, two, like, tutoring missions, too. Uh, next time, next time. We're at an hour 20 minutes, so... <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.